right. Yeah, look at that. Sheep. First time ever eating super fresh self-caught sashimi. <laughs> what an experience. Yeah. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another travel vlog, this time from Shargao Island. This morning we woke up at 4.30 a.m. and we are currently inside the Maragathi Fish Air House in Pilar. Today we are going deep sea fishing with Hook Pro Shargao. We are very excited about this. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with Shargao, it's an island in the Philippines that's located all the way hugging the Pacific Ocean. Deep sea fishing is coming up on this island and apparently it's very, very good. So, you know with fishing, like anything else, you might not be able to get anything. The experience itself is something that some people would die for. Starting the day off here in this beautiful boathouse, uh, they got a really good setup here. And then we're gonna go out, spend the entire morning trying to get some fish out there. Come along for the adventure. I'm very excited for today. Good morning! Bye, Chris! <laughs> 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 okay, <man. laughs> so this is Maragati. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, beautiful. Good morning, sir. Beautiful, yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, I, uh, I decided to take a special guest with us. Okay. <laughs> Please meet Joaquin Tarantino. <laughs> hey, good morning, morning there, sir. Tarantino. Hey, good to see you. <laughs> Ready for some fishing? <laughs> Have you been to Sidargo? No, I have not. This is Mr. Sidargo. Oh. Good morning, Chris. Nice you, Martin, good Martin. to meet you. Martin. Yes, and then we have the Captain Cliff. Big Mel Cup. Chris, tell me about uh, uh, how you feel, man. Listen. This is your idea. Listen, yeah. something a lot of people don't know about me is that my number one hobby is... Yeah. Fishing! I've been fishing since I was a kid, and it's always been a dream of mine to go deep sea fishing in the Philippines. Hopefully catch some massive mahi-mahi, maybe a blue marlin, Oof. maybe some jackfish, maybe some Spanish mackerel, some tuna. I mean, who knows, right? Yeah, who knows yeah. what this day is going to bring. But one thing is for sure is that we're going to get the best Sunday of our life yep. here in the best place on earth. Yep. Literally, G.R. Gao. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, cheers to that. Cheers to that, coffee. You gotta get and it. As we say in Norway, shit fiska. Shit fiska, let's shoot on. So since Chris is so into fishing, he also brought an extra fishing shirt for me today. So wearing a hat, you know, it's uh, very, very sunny. Might be very sunny here in Shargao and uh, protect your skin is very important. Here is the fishing boat that we're gonna be spending time on today. Ooh. Yeah, boys. <laughs> awesome. The silence Good before morning. we hear the real yeah. screaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're with a seventh generation Shargon on here. You know? Oh. What's your restaurant again? Uh, the restaurant's called Sidargo. Japanese Hawaiian food, sushi, akitori, uh, Japanese whiskey highballs too. So, <laughs> nice. Get fun. I hope to become first generation Shargon on There we go. <laughs> Okay guys, we are out and about. Wow. Leaving the landing zone behind. Beautiful house. Hello. Tell us about uh, Hook Pro and what we're doing today. Well, apparently after a long day's rain yesterday and rough seas, we're fortunate enough to have you boys here. We're gonna go up north, do some trawling first. Woo. Hopefully find a good spot to do some jigging and uh, let's see what happens, guys. <laughs> what are what are the techniques that you guys usually use around here? Because, you know, every... Trolling is really the, uh, when you say uh, Pilar sports fishing, it's really trolling. And it's famous for sailfish, marlin, and big game fish. But, uh, Cliff and I started this during the pandemic, 2020, and we introduced the uh, jigging, the, which is virtual mm. vertical jigging in Japan. So uh, then the boat is still and so we're the just... the boat is still and... Fishing poles in the back. We're gonna be trolling now, so we're gonna put the line out and drag it after the boat. Good morning, Captain. Good morning. Captain Cliff. Good setup you guys have here. Ooh, so here we go. 
How deep is it here? 7.2 meters. No, that's the speed. Oh, okay. Uh, there's no depth at the moment because we busted our okay. user. Okay. So, no sounder. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that looks, yeah. Fine fish. That's real fish? Yeah, real fish. I was about to say, that looks real. <laughs> A flying Sorry, fish. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a bigger fish. Very cool. Guys, this is my first time deep fishing seriously like this. I've done one excursion in northern Norway, which was quite good. We got some Norwegian salmon. Sorry, we got some Norwegian cod. Uh, then I tried it in Hawaii with uh, Avis and my wife's uncle on the big island of uh, Hawaii. But unfortunately, we didn't catch any fish that day. So, you know what they say, all good things are three, comes in three. Hopefully today is today. Some pandasal, some baon from a local in Pilar that we brought on the boat. Freshly baked. Six a.m. Sunrise. We're now trolling on depth about 400 meters. Uh, okay. Since okay. the Pacific and the Mariana Trench actually is out there, it drops down to 7,000 meters, just 20 kilometers out. Spectacular landscapes. I've been able to um, spearfish a lot along the coast up north where we're heading, but never had the ability to go out in a boat. So, such a good experience. And sunrises share a lot of energy on the boat. I think we were spending some good energy today and hopefully the fish will show us from its good side. Look at the uh, action here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, please. When, you, when it falls, it looks like a dying oh, fish. Sure. Ah. Thank you. Look at it looks like a dying fish when it falls. Yes. So that's irresistible to... To the fish down there. Yeah, just... Right. Fascinating. Guys, we are jigging in Shargao. I'm getting jiggy with it. Na, 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 na. This is how I'm used to fishing in Norway. Torsk, yes. I uh, got some odd before. Guys, we are now in front of Pacifico. It's really cool to see it from here. This is one of the towns that got very severely hit during Typhoon Odetta about two years ago. The rumor has it they're rebuilding it and if you look up the coast here you have Barang by uh, Bai Bai, Burgos and all the way up Santa Monica. This is the northern part of Shargao. It's very beautiful also a lot more rough. Chris, what's happening? A uh, classical case of uh, seasickness. <laughs> you forgot your seasick pills. I forgot them, yes. Yeah, and now you're kind of having to deal with... Uh... Are my eyes red? Actually not, you look good, you look good. Really? Yeah, you're good. It all came out, <laughs> all the coffee, everything. Oh my god. Wow, I feel much better now though. Yeah, that's good, that's good. <laughs> all right, you guys, second jigging spot of the day. We are now a little bit past Pacifico, actually right in front of the Trogir. Trogrid. There's a new resort here, very beautiful. I haven't been able to visit yet. Right in front of it, if we get lucky here. <laughs> you guys can see they're working hard in the back. <laughs> Laura over here has taught me how to jig. I'm gonna show you, if you guys be the judges, if I still have, if I got the technique right now. We'll see. Yeah, currently just dropping it down to the bottom. Once the lure hits the bottom, that's when we start. On the line, every different color represents 10 meters. So that's how you know. I'm trying to a one third of the bottom. That's where all the fishes are. Still going. Uh, Maro is at the bottom. Yeah. Here he goes. Oh, bottom. Go, go, go. Here we go. So you have to reel on the way down to. 
But I had a bite mark earlier because my lure was brand new. You can see like really? Yeah, on the side. Actually, I think I felt it. Once you feel something, you just like. Guys, we got a little rainstorm coming through, so we'll be putting down the camera and uh, hit you very soon. Still haven't been able to get any fish. This is uh, becoming a suspenseful vlog. Will we be able to do it or not? Keep watching. Yeah! Guys, we are now all the way up north. On the back of me here is Allegria, where I uh, stayed for four months during the pandemic. Have a lot of memories there. Shout out to Ate Rose and Dave and Kaha Island State. Never seen it from this angle, so I'm uh, enjoying the trip. Unfortunately, no fish yet. We keep trolling, we are optimistic that we will get something. And I think the energy of the northern tip of Shargao might give us what we're looking for. There's a fish on the line! Martin, There's go, a go fish! Forward, go forward, bro. That's right, I can see it. Oh, oh. No. You're joking. Catch and release. Catch and release. <laughs> well, something's happening here. This is exciting. Right, let's go. <laughs> oh, you got a bigger, huh? Look at that. It's really fighting. Come on, boys. Something must be coming up from here soon. It's been pulling this thing for. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Cute. A little snapper. A little snapper, yeah. Wow. Look at that. Gold band. It's a gold band. Beautiful it's a fish. Yummy one. It's a yummy one. Beautiful. Yeah. Good job. Okay, Chris, you got a fish. Oh. There you go. Whee! Good job, bro. First catch of the day. Nice. See, that, that there you go, buddy. <laughs> it was your lure. Yeah, lure always got some. <laughs> oh wow! Usually we'll catch this uh, average from four to seven. Okay. Seven is like good size. Yeah. yeah. Size oh, you're on. Whee! Go again. Go, go, go. You. You know. You know. All right. Famous photo. Good job. <laughs> a humane way to uh, kill a fish. Uh, unfortunately, we cannot release this one because the lungs already blew up since it's a deep water fish. So uh, it will be going on our plates. Third fish on the boat. Good job. We have five boys. Woo! Boom. Fun. Chris is a true champion here, fighting seasickness, but still, who manages to push through? Fire! <laughs> That was, was really fun and um, together as a team we were able to get three fish so far, yeah. We're gonna troll all the way back to Pilar. Probably is a 30 to 40 minute boat drive and uh, hopefully then we can get something just trolling after the boat. Been a fun day out on the sea, a little bit of rain here and there, but all in all a good experience. I'm so happy we did this. I always wanted to do this here in Chargao. Cheers guys! Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Cheers! Good day on the sea! Great day on the sea, <laughs> nobody puked. Everyone, everyone remained calm. Yeah. Lots of fish. Amazing. Thank you to our guides here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, our hosts. Amazing. Thank you, Mauro. Cheers. Hook pro Amazing. Shargao. Hook pro Shargo. Hit him up. Hey guys, we are now in front of Pilar. One last jig. Before we head back and uh, this beautiful rock formation here which you, you can't really see unless you're on a boat. Like if you're driving, there's no way the lo road leads here. Hope you guys can see this. It's beautiful. Oh, I got something big on here. The last try pays off. Look at that. That fish is running, it's fighting. Woo! <laughs> yeah, da. What is this? Can I jack? Woo! Yeah! Yeah, da! That's a big but good fight. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's an good amberjack. Oh, nice one, Maro. Beautiful yeah. fish. Five. Damn. Ooh. That's a beauty. Oh, he was, he's not getting away. Amberjack. Yeah. Wow, yeah. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Not my fish. Not your fish, but still looks <laughs> still amazing. Beautiful fish. <laughs> That's how you kill it without it suffering. Yes. 
we are back at the boat house where we left this morning. Now it's actually better light so you guys can see it. So beautiful. So many different lounging areas. Rumor has it a Japanese uh, chef we know might have prepared some lunch. Hey. Yeah. That yeah, that's the rumor. That's the word on the street. Thank you, Captain. You're welcome. Bringing us safe back. Thanks, it's light now I kind of want to show you guys this upstairs again because it's like mix of rattan furniture beautiful view of the mangroves here in Pilar that she shell and this rustic use of recycled wood beautiful loving this place definitely need to come back here and chill look at that table whoa beautiful place let's see what our Japanese friend that we met yesterday has prepared for us back at the lodge oh yeah hello this is where you will be staying if you come to Pilar and go out for a sunrise session. Beautiful place. Look at this table. Hardwood. Woo! You gonna make sashimi? Yep. Oh, you're a lot of chef. Very good chef. Amazing. First Japanese chef. Mm. Uh, guys, first time ever eating super fresh self-caught sashimi. <laughs> what an experience. So good. Just get the fish like this. You put in some wasabi sauce. Mm. Very good. Yeah! What a day, what a day. What a day, baby. Chargao day three? Yeah, I think so. So guys, here's my personal chauffeur. It is me. For uh, the uh, the day, doing a very good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're driving back to GL now from Pilar. About 40 minutes drive. Look at these roads, man. It's like, this is the beauty of Chargao right here. Awesome, man. What's the plan today? I mean, we're kind of tired now. Honestly, this like waking up at 5 a.m., fishing for seven hours kind of drains you. So I think we're going to go back to the villa, yell, and just relax for the day, and then we'll be on it tomorrow. What he said. Yeah! <laughs> I kind of lost track of days here in Chargao, but I think it's our fifth day. Uh, I've been shooting so much content uh, of this place and we've reached the point where we are ready to launch it. So tonight we're gonna be spending time with the owners here, Michael and Rose, and trying to set up their Instagram. Very exciting, be able to put all the knowledge into something like this. But it's Monday, so we also need to make sure we answer all the emails for everybody else. So we're gonna head into GL, uh, drive our motorcycles in and find a co-working space. Hopefully uh, some good Wi-Fi, good coffee, and start working a little bit. Mr. Reaper, welcome to my place. I hate to tell you you're my name. Guys, noise cancellation headsets are on. Starlink is here. 150 megabytes upload. Even three hours because it's time to grind. Mr. Reaper, there's a man down that way. Guys, we are in central GL. So much stuff happening here. Every time I visit Chargao, it's like new places everywhere. All right, all right, all right. Turns out we're going to Bravo. back at Rice Haven Villas and we're now gonna try to use the FPV drone to fly through the villa. Trying to capture some amazing footages. What I love about the FPV is that you're really able to show a property differently than with a normal drone. You can basically, it's small and you can fly through hoops and holes and windows and everything and really try to show someone that is a potential customer to stay there really what it's like. So again, 
this is what we're doing here. I'm excited. I'm um, really excited that uh, Michael and Rose from Rice Haven let us stay here for an entire week so we can really capture it and really get the time also to get those footages. Most clients will say you can come and stay for three days, four days. It becomes very rushed. So having a whole week to do it. Very good. So here's the equipment. We have the FPV goggles. We have the DJI Avatar FPV drone. Joystick, the controller, as I don't have the big one yet. And we have uh, batteries. So let's do this. Wow, the FPV shots turned out really, really good. And we've been invited for surfing with Michael, so we're gonna take the jet ski out to Stimpy's. Come along. Ready to surf, Chris? Hells to the yes. Are you? <laughs> I'm very ready. Bringing the surfboard out on the scooter, on a jet ski. <laughs> Cause why not? All right, guys, we've been surfing out on Stimpy's. Hard to film out there. But now we are shooting here on the beach of Santa Fe. This beautiful stretch. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> what a day. Million dollar pictures. Million dollar photos. Watch out for the wave now. Get it, Chris. Get it. Good thing! Oh, be careful, man! <laughs> what, are you, what are you up to, Martin? What, what's going on? I'm shooting! Shooting content, you know? Okay. Having a blast, another day on the job. Perfect, Michael! Yeah! Woo! The launch day is here. After six days of shooting, producing, we're gonna have a launch day, invited a lot of good friends from the island and hopefully make a little fuss. Really, really fun. In the out the entire place, getting ready the Instagram account. Joy and Chris here, working on it. Look at this. Preparing food, preparing bruschettas. Michael over there. Joy, hi. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so shy. No, <laughs> Hello. Excited for today? Um, yeah. <laughs> Very. We're gonna have fun. I'm the designated bartender. I guess. Yeah, everybody is working. Hi. Hi! We got our friends over, kids are in the pool. Thanks for coming, have a great night, let's have some good food, we're going to be up in May, and yeah guys, look, enjoy, and glad to have you all here, you know? So, yeah. Thank you, Thank you Michael! So 
good, guys. Yeah! Last day here in Shargao. We're actually flying out in a couple hours. But before we do that, we're gonna go into GL. Explore one more restaurant and find some pasalubong. Something to bring home to the loved ones. It's always important, very important in Filipino culture. The resort we're exploring now is called Siago. Very beautiful. Been here, I was here about a year ago. It's just very nice. Good morning. Nice. Look at this. Really recommend this place for breakfast. I've, uh, I think it's a very nice place to just come and relax. Chris was telling me that daytime here also is a good for drinking for Sundays and just relax. Now we're gonna go into General Luna and find some pasalubong, something to bring home. Central GL, guys. So many new amazing places popping up left and right and being rebuilt. Whenever I'm here in Chicago, I always visit this surf shop, Malaya. Just been really, really good for a lot of years. Shoes off. Shopping time. Fire, you set me on fire. I would be a liar if I said I wasn't on the wire. Stuck on every word. Look so good it hurts, baby, you are my desire. Such a random vlog. I'm like all over the place in this video, but I just want you to know that I'm been having a great time in here in Chargao and we hope that you've enjoyed the vlog. Let it give you some insights to what it's like to stay here in Chargao, things you can do. Also the villa, Rice Haven Villas, is now open for bookings. So hit up the Instagram linked in this description. And uh, if you're a resorts owner or need some help with social media or other things, hit up me, my friend Chris over here, and we'll see if there's a way we can work together. Thank you so much for having me, Rice Haven Villas, and we will be back in the future for sure. Bye guys. I don't wanna miss a second looking in your eyes, inspired by the way you move. All I wanna